Hello guys, the King Rush 007 here. Today I'm back with a new diecast showcase video. And today is gonna be the second video of my green light collection. And today we're gonna feature all the other cars from my collection of green lights, which is com come with Inchinto, Black Bandit, Hollywoods, uh, Estate Wagons, and other series. So let's take a look at it. So we're going to start with the Hitchin Toes. These are fairly recent from my collection. I re just recently started to collect these. They were quite a bit expensive back in the day, but now they are a little bit more affordable. So the first one is the 2018 Dodge Durango RT. But it's actually wrong because if you look at the hood here, it is the SRT version. This one has a tow hinge and the big trailer. Where you can put a car in the back of this transparent window. So this is the first one I got. Second version is very very cool. This is the A-Team Echento. This one has the A-Team van with some bullet on the front of the door. Some very nice real riders. Come with the nice 2015 Chevrolet Silverado and a big hay team trailer and this thing is pretty heavy let me tell you up next pick this one because it was a newer truck casting i didn't see this one before this is the uh, ram fifth uh, two two hundred you know, two thousand five hundred excuse me and it uh, comes with this trailer which is the alveo trailer things also weights a ton. Next we have Terminator. Comes with the uh, LAPD style police cars. This one's the Dodge Ram Power from 1977. You can take the, the roof apart. You can see it's attached here with a little piece here. I have the back rubber spare tires. Comes with the uh, Dodge Monaco police car from 1977 and a trailer to put the Dodge Monaco in. So pretty cool. Of course, I'm a police fanboy, so I collect a lot of police vehicles. And this one was an easy buy for me. And another new casting that I didn't have in the truck collection is the Nissan Titan XD Pro 4X. And comes with a dump trailer. So yeah, pretty cool. So in, back in the box here, I think uh, that's pretty much it for the green light. So I'm gonna switch boxes in a second and I'm gonna show you my Hollywoods and other green lights collection. Okay, two more boxes of green lights to look at. I'm gonna start with the uh, Hollywood series. First out of the bat, from Graveyard Card. Yeah, come on, get out of here, box. 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. A nice plum crazy purple color. Easy winner for me. Also a Dodge fanboy as a police fanboy. Another from the same TV show. This was a 1970 Dodge Challenger. White top. And these two bad boys come with, of course, the big block 440 engine. Next, from one of my favorite movie, Vanishing Point, 1970s Dodge Challenger RT. Of course, the one, and you and Kowalski drive this car all the way from the, the movie, chasing down is a vanishing point. Starsky and Hutch, Fort Grand Torino, 1976. Of course, the police cruiser. And here we got the most famous Steve McQueen bullet movie, 1968 Dark Charger, my favorite and dream muscle car to home. One day I will. I swear one day I will 
probably own this car. But uh, first of all, I have to get some coins. And this car is pretty cool and can be really expensive today, especially if you're looking for their 440 engine or even the rare 426 Hemi. Another one, in black with uh, white. I think they have two different rims. There we go. This is the other version with the the early version rims, and this is the car that doesn't need any presentation anymore. This is the. Uh, Steve McQueen 68 Ford Mustang GT, which is was the car chasing down the bad guys in the Charger. So two very iconic muscle car. Uh, try to dig in here, get these two bad boys out here. Another very famous movie, Gun in 60 Seconds. This is the remake version in 1990s, not the. Uh, 1976 version, which has a different Mustang. This one's the Hello No. 67 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. And very cool factor about this car: opening doors and opening hood, which is quite rare for a green light model car. Fortunately, I don't have another one to lose it, but uh, this is one of my wish list to get. 1971 Plymouth Hemicuda. So I probably was probably in the Gun in 60 Seconds movie too, but it was a, a car to get in the list. Here we have some police cars, the Walking Dead. This is the Sheriff Cruiser, Fort Crown Victoria. And another movie is the Hunts Up a Time. Another Sheriff Cruiser with the uh, brown and white color combo. Nope. Two other Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, Quantico. This one's fairly recent. New York Police Department. And this one from Blue's Blood. This one has a different unit number, 7554. Instead of this one having 1256. Next, Supernatural 67 Chevrolet Impala. Very, very nice classic model car. Would be nice to see it as a hot pursuit model. Next, oh, this one's not a Hollywood, but this is a cool, unique piece. This is the 25th anniversary edition Chevrolet Corvette, which is very nice. I think this one have an opening hood. Not sure about the doors, however. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? 68 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Yeah, another very fan favorite muscle car of everybody. Also from the same movie, 68 Chevrolet Camaro in a nice uh, barmel style a primer gray color. Mr. Elvis Presley, of course. You jazz. 55 Cadillac in the nice pink and red, uh, pink and white color. And the same car, Godfather. Hey, what's going on? Oh my goodness. Hey, it's an error. Nice. 55 Cadillac Fleetwood. So I probably have to fix that uh, if I lose it. So, alright, one, Godfather. Oh, another famous, famous movie, The Blues Brothers. Cop motor, cop tire, cop suspension, cop everything. Dodge Monaco, Blues Mobile. And this is the uh, patrol car that chased the Blues Mobile at the end of the movie. And a big car crash. Another Dodge Monaco, of course. Little Miss Sunshine, Volkswagen Type 2 bus, nice yellow and white, and I was surprised to find this one, actually, it's pretty cool, Chance of Massacre, 1971 Chevrolet C10, really like this truck, kind of beat up, as we can see, but uh, still cool. Oh, two other bullet cars, 
This was the taxi cab from uh, San Francisco. You can see at the beginning of the car chase be between the bad guys and Steve McQueen. And this is the Obby Exclusive Hollywood. This is the uh, unrestored Barn Fine Mustang, which is uh, very, very cool. So I bought it in my local hobby store. The, uh, I'm surprised they actually vanished the store quite a bit quickly. Oh. Yeah, this one is also very sought after when it came out. Uh, very. Uh, this one's pretty recent, I was just saying. Christine Plymouth Furry 1958. Of course, this is a famous van car, and everybody's gonna go after this one. I got a few of uh, her too. Of course, one to be loose. And also another very nice car from the same movie is this 68 Dodge Charger in blue. So I absolutely have to get this one. Fortunately, I didn't get the second sample to lose one, but uh, that's okay. Sheriff Carr from Smokey and the Bandit. This is the Pontiac Le Mans in brown with the blue cherries. And this one from Home Improvement, I think. Yeah, Home Improvement. 55 Chevrolet Bel Air Nomad. Very nice rims on this car. Love it. And Smokey and the Bandit. Famous Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Two versions of this car. This one's from the first movie. This one from the second movie. So, very cool pieces to my collection. This one's another 18 van. This one's the clean version without the uh, bullets on the uh, driver's side door. Pretty heavy casting, of course, because the van, the whole metal, and metal base, and all the stuff. Matrix Reload and John Wick, what we have here, oh yeah. Very nice Mustang, 68, Boss 429 engine. Big block V8 car and the 65 Lincoln Continental. Oh, Family Vacation, this is the station wagon that they use in the movie. This one also is an error. The bumper is right there, it's not missing, but uh, it's just like the Godfather Cadillac. It'll need to be a uh, probably glue up. And the last Hollywood car in the box, the Terminator Dodge Monaco. Police car, yeah boy. Now we're gonna go ahead for the green light muscle cars. 67 Chevrolet Camaro in the nice red color. Yanko. Camaro. Our Dodge Durango SRT 392 Hemi. If you want a performant SUV without breaking the bank too much, you can go ahead and buy this truck. Oh yeah, this one's also a, a very nice car. This is the 72 AMC Javelin. Now we're going for the more older GL muscle cars. 67 Ford Mustang, green and white. Remembers, mer, remembers me a little bit of the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Mustang. As well as this one, remembers me Dodge, uh, Dodge Charger from Dom's in the first Fast and Furious movie with the big blower in the front. And a huge muscle car rims looks absolutely beautiful and this one the Chevrolet Chevelle SS from 1970 also pretty cool casting in the car in real life and two other Chevelles to conclude but these are the couple Chevelles from 1969 there's a blue version and the orange version with a black top I think I'll go ahead and pick the blue one first Two great cars. All right, so let me make some space and we're gonna take a look at this box right there. All right, another box full of green lights. 
Another Christine, we saw this one earlier. Tokyo Torque, 1972 Nissan Skyline. This one's very close from the car culture version. This is the green light version, which is much better. Only thing is they could have the side view mirrors, but that's okay. So the detail is pretty good for this uh, Skyline race car style. Oh, their version. This one is the another collection, I should say. Barrett Jackson. Of course, I have to get this one, the 1968 Dodge Charger, and this one I have the 426 Amy. If we uh, take a look at the uh, hard work and the description in the back, sold for one hundred thirty-two thousand dollars. Next one I got. Ooh, this one's much more expensive. Yeah, 69 Chevrolet Camaro with the L1 in orange. And the last Barrett Jackson car, Chevrolet Corvette. A nice metallic blue. Here we have some 50 years green lights. Dodge Charger Daytona in a nice green with some uh, weird flower roof. And this fantastic looking Chevy C10 in blue and white top. Love, love, love this one. Looks beautiful. Black Bandit. So we're going to be one black. Let's go with black. So Dodge Ram Power Wagon. Ford F-150. The uh, snow plow in the front, and some weird stuff in the back, some unique wheels too. Chevy six, uh, Chevy G20, excuse me, panel van, black bandit. Oh yeah, this one's also cool. 55 Cadillac Fleetwood, just like the Godfather and the Elvis Presley car. And we have here the Mad Max car, Ford Falcon XB, 1973, with the crazy uh, hot rod style modification on it. 67 Ford F100 pickup truck. Very cool. So as this one, the 1939 Chevrolet Panel van. By the way, the uh, Black Bandits also have the same uh, hard work. Our Chevy C10, 68, with a nice flat black color. And here we have Nissan Skyline GTR R34. It's one of the um, carbon fiber roof. Uh, oh my goodness, carbon fiber hood. Come on, King Racer, what are you doing? 1987 Pontiac Firebird Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> of course, just kidding. Nineteen seventy Plymouth Hemi Cuda, yeah boy, love this car. I wish I will found one with the plum crazy color, maybe uh, this uh, lime green. Would be nice. I think also M two machines make one of these. I will want to get one too. Seventy six Dodge Coronet police car, yeah. Blank Bandit Highway Patrol unit. And to conclude, uh, oh, what we got here? Fort Crown Victoria, too. Black Bandit Police. And next here we have some monster trucks. And also some other cars. Nissan Titan 2018. And nice red. This one's from the Blue Color series. Oh. So just like everybody else, Green Lights have some chase cars, and these have are two of them that I got a few uh, months ago. These are the Green Machines Estate Wagons. You have the uh, Volkswagen Squareback from 1968, and you also have this big uh, station wagon, which is the 4 LTD from 79. Green Machine. 
the resting wagon I picked up, the 55 2 tens Honeyman station wagon. Oh, this one is a little bit older. This is the uh, Motor World American Series NYPD Ford Escape. They pretty much should have put this one in the Hot Pursuit Series, but uh, that's okay. Another series, the V-Dub Club, Volkswagen Beetle Police Car, with the little red cherries on the top. Also found this uh, military Volkswagen bus in the khaki red, uh, white, uh, khaki green. Oh my god. Uh, Golf Volkswagen van. Number five on the side. Oh, two other blue colors. This one's the 63 Dodge D100. And this is not the green machine. This one's a bit confusing because you can find a green machine with green here and a green base, but I didn't find this one. And here is the uh, Turtle Wax GMC Aventura, which is also very, very cool. Oh! I see some green. Yep, green machine. Hobby shop, this one. Chevy Aventura. That's in 510 in a nice green color. But it's not a green machine, but it's still cool. Oh my god. I started getting tired here. 65 Shelby Cobra 427 Hemi SC. And probably my favorite, 68 Camaro in a nice light blue. Nissan Skyline GTR, just like the Black Bandit uh, version. This one's red with a nice set of wheels. And the last hobby shop one I have is this tow truck for F100. You can also get one, I think, in orange. I picked the green one. And now, the big boys in the box. Oh! My goodness, a green machine, Chevy Key 10, 1972. Also have the regular version of this one, King Crunch series. Green machine. Love the wheels on this truck here. 1973 Ford 250. And man, these monster trucks are just absolutely beautiful. Greenlight did a fantastic job doing these. Hobby exclusive, the Big Foot. Big Foot monster truck. Yeah, boy. Curse those cars away. Another Chevy Key 10, 1970, in blue. Those tires are absolutely huge. Oh, there's some green again. Holy cow. Another Chevrolet K10. 1972 also. Different paint job. Exterminator on this one. Regular version of the 1972 K10. In the metallic black. And... Bam! Another green machine. Of the same truck. My goodness. I was lucky I found it two the same day. In the same store, my Toys R Us uh, local shop. So that's it, guys. This was my Green Light Hollywood Under Series collection. I hope you like it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next stop motion video or collection video. See you soon.